this is an interesting question about the postdoc. So I got an offer which I think might not be sufficient for uh, cost of living etc. Is it possible to negotiate a postdoc offer? Good question. So it depends. The first thing you need to do is make sure that I mean because you this person has already done the interview, um, this might not help that much. But um, for those who are still in the process. The first thing you want to try to do is during your interview, you want to make sure you get a sense of how expansive the professor's funding is. So what funds are available in the lab, okay? Because that will determine how the professor might have a wiggle room in increasing your pay. So try to ask the question, you know, what kind of funding do you have, uh, you know, and how long, you know, <laughs> can the funding cover? So because you want to be in an environment where they have sufficient funds for you to do a, uh, enough research and also do some some of your own personal research that you can take with you after um, a postdoc so if you get a sense that the, this professor has money right is rich it's not just one small grant then you may stand a chance of you know getting a, an increase in pay and it also works better if the professor has various fund, uh, funding sources, maybe from private or non-governmental organizations and some from government organizations. Uh, they are able to, you know, find some other sources to increase your pay. And it will also depend on your expertise, your level of expertise. Uh, for me, what I did for the current postdoc that I have at Stanford was I tried to get a sense of you know the i knew that the professor the professor was moving from another institution to stanford right so he's sort of a new professor though he's going there as a full professor so i'm sure they would have startup funds and, and i know stanford is rich so they have startup funds and he also has some uh, federal grants as well from nih and nsf uh, nih specifically so I know he has an expansive arsenal to fund his research. So using that knowledge, and because what I'm bringing is important to this, so I have some certain skills that they need to, you know, keep the lab going without trying to train me in certain skills. So if you if you are confident that you your skills are a good match for that professor, and you would need little training. So you can, of course, use that uh, as leverage to ask for a bump in pay. I, I must say that before before you send the email, <laughs> please make sure that you don't talk about increase in pay during the interview. You just want to get a sense of the funding because you don't have leverage yet. You only have leverage when they offer you uh, the position, when you actually receive an offer letter. That's when, I mean, this is not just for postdoc in any position whatsoever. So they'll try to stay away from salary discussions during your interview but you now gain leverage or advantage when you have a physical offer because at that point you are the number one candidate and whatever you ask if it's not like too much for them to handle they will try to accommodate you so that's something you should know so i just sent a short email thank you for the offer um Considering that I have the expertise to do X, Y, Z that this pro project uh, describes and considering the fact that, um, you know, Cali I'm going to be living in California, right? Uh, cost of living, I, I did a cost of living calculation and I even attached uh, the, the cost of living, you know, uh, result of the cost of living calculator to the email. So considering that, you know, for, you know, to have... I can't, I can't see the email because I used my formal work email, but you get a sense of what I'm trying to say. Uh, considering that I have the skills that ex match exactly with this position with limited training and considering how expensive uh, it is to, you know, live happily or comfortable, comfortably in this area of California, um, I'm humbly requesting that you consider a six, between a six to 10% increase, okay? So that was what I said. I just give them a range. 
but from in the back of my mind what I needed was actually like a five percent which a five percent increase which would be uh, which I believe would be sufficient for me to to live comfortably but at the end of the day, because I gave them a range, I knew of course they they are not going to give me a ten percent increase. <laughs> but at the end, what happened was they chose the lower end to give me a six percent increase. But in the actual sense, I wanted a five percent. So just you get the idea of how to kind of do that. But you have to make sure that the professor has uh, sufficient funding. If not, they will just reply you. Uh, Sorry, this is uh, what we can afford to pay, or what the grant permits us to pay. And in that case, you just have to decide if you want to accept or reject the offer. Now, what you should not do when you are negotiating is to talk about your family. You know, for some of us, we have families. And because you will not be happy if they discriminate based on the fact that you have so a number of children, right? And you may not be so um, maybe invested in the job because of your family. You know, there are some people that will think like that and it's illegal to discriminate based on that. So if you wouldn't like people to discriminate based on that, you cannot use that to negotiate. So use your skills, your skills and some living condition parameter to negotiate. I'm going to, uh, when I render this video, I'm going to put, I'm going to drop it on YouTube, but I'm going to put some resources in the description. Um, if you are trying to move cities and you want to do a cost of living calculation, okay, it's very important before you accept any offer. Uh, so, but you can't, you, I mean, it's difficult to do this at the PhD level, but at the postdoc level, you still have some wiggle room to negotiate, okay? So that's my suggestion in that. Always try to negotiate, but only after you receive the offer. That's when you have leverage. Okay.